Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kristen and this is Kristen Budgets. Today's video I am going to be doing my first week check-in for June. Um, first though because I never did a budget closeout for May or a setup for June I'm going to kind of walk you through all that um, first and just show you what was going down and then we'll jump into the weekly check-in. So if you like this type of video, definitely stick around. So I'm going to flip over to May, show you the numbers. Um, and then I'm going to flip over to my sinking fund, show you what was going on over there because I did have my Nashville trip that I pulled some money from. Um, overall, did was below budget. Um, main reason I think is because my sinking funds, I did not push a lot of money aside for my sinking funds. I think I only did like two cash stuffings that I put money towards my sinking funds last month. And then the rest was just like straight to bills. And then I also did save a little bit. Um, so yes, I do have my income here. So I don't share that. So that's all covered up. Um, fixed is the same other than that, like I was pretty under budget for groceries too. So that's a huge part of it as well. Um, but I did have some pretty good spending for this first week of June for my groceries because we needed to go to Costco, stock up on some things. And so, yeah. Also parking. I did really good with parking this month. Um, I think because oh, I had quite a few manager shifts and then there were some where I actually took my time, went and found parking. And there's a couple like hidden spots that have free parking. So if it's like you find it, you take it. So that happened. So yeah, overall, the month was pretty mellow. Um, nothing crazy. I was under with like supplements. I did have one unbudgeted and that was an app that I bought. I'm doing like this fitness challenge. So I did do that. But yeah, not too mad about it. Um, so then we come over here. Sinking funds were quite messy. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of fell off with keeping track um, towards the end of the month. And then with my travel, I did have this amount starting. And then I added 160 with my normal like cash stuffings. Um, but then I also was reimbursed $380 from like some medical stuff that I had paid. And then I did, I got a reimbursement for it. So I honestly just put that towards my travel sinking fund because I didn't need it anywhere else. So I thought I could use that, which it did. It came in very handy. Um, so beauty, I spent all my money in beauty. Same with my car maintenance. I did get new tires and then I also got an oil change this last month. So that's depleted there. Um, I did get a pedicure for my before my trip. And then for travel, so my hotel room and parking came out to 340 and my sister and I split the amount. So that was my half. Um, I added everything up for like eating out snacks. Like we bought groceries a couple times, like small, like snack groceries and then also drinks. Um, and then I bought a bottle for the hotel room to sip on so we can make our own drinks. And that ended up coming out to be 363, um, souvenirs. I bought a shirt, a sweatshirt. I bought my boyfriend a shirt. I like to buy magnets whenever I travel. So things like that. I spent 172 and then I also spent 120 on some outfits. I bought new boots and a cute like fringe dress, uh, vest on Amazon. So that came out to be 120. So overall, nothing crazy went down. I did have some spending for my holiday and gifts, but yeah, so May wasn't too shabby. I did wish I could put more to it, but we're back on track for this month. We're going to be really consistent with our cash stuffing. It's just when I'm not consistently cash stuffing, it's not that I didn't have the money for it. I just decided to put it in elsewhere, like savings, um, instead of putting it into these category savings. 
Okay, so June will come over here. We're going to do my uh, weekly check-in in just a minute. I thought I'd just show you the numbers really quick. They're honestly basically the same month-to-month um, unless I see some like fluctuations in like electric, PG&E, those types of things. Um, personal, I think I did. Yeah. I had it at 100, but that was my birthday month. So this month we're back to just normal spending. I actually think I only spent like $50 last month anyways. Um, but everything else is pretty much the same. I did add 20 to 20 more dollars to Clipper. And then what else changed? Oh, my auto insurance went up. So it went up about like $58. So there's the reflection is there. So that'll be going forward. Hopefully we can get that lowered this next year. Maybe I'll revisit that in like six months and see. Um, so yeah, that's June numbers. Pretty basic. That's really what my budget looks like most months. Um, so besides that change there so we're going to jump into the cash or the weekly check-in and we'll get going so i do track these categories if you're new um and i like to track every week just to keep me aware of what my spending is because i do set a budget for these categories and the weekly check-in just helps me be more aware makes me more intentional when I'm kind of getting closer to the higher end of the budget that I've set um, or allows me to spend more money on things when I think that I can't. So we're going to jump right in. Um, okay, so the gray, this is my parking. This is always going to be parking. Um, I did have quite a bit of spending this month. So this first few days I was still in Nashville, came back Saturday night, went straight back to work on Sunday. Um, I did the shift that I worked, it was like a midday shift. And so by the time I got to work and tried to find parking, it was non-existent. So I had to park. I still parked pretty far away, but it ended up being $54 because I did work like a seven hour shift. So it was like a big, long stretch of the day. So kind of bummed about that. I thought about taking the ferry, but the time that the ferry like left and got into the city was would not match up with my shift. So that was unfortunate. Then this day I spent 1076 and Friday I spent 1946. And all this week, actually there was no games this week, but then there was games, baseball games this week. So if you are new here, I am a bartender in San Francisco and I work near the Giants baseball stadium. Um, so baseball games, games that I'm talking about are the Giants baseball home games. So for the week, I spent $84.22, and that is way higher, especially for it only being the first week of June. And they're doing the lawn outside. So if you hear any of that, I'm so sorry, but I gotta get this filmed. So for the month, I budget 200 and I spent 84.22. So that leaves me with 115.78. Cool. All right, so moving on, and then I just check these off. And all my stickers are from Sarah Marie Stickers. I'll have her link down below. And th isn't this print so cute? I love this print this month. Okay, so moving on this lighter color that kind of matches this is going to be my gas for the month and i only had one so far um i'll probably have to fill up like towards the end of this next week and it was 5102 and so for the month i've budgeted 200 for gas and i spent 5102 so that leaves 148 98 cool so if i take like 148.98 divided by the next three weeks that leaves me with about 50 dollars a week that's usually what i spend every other week um but we'll see because it is father's day weekend this weekend and i may go see my stepdad and my mom my mom actually got a new puppy um this last week and so I'm like dying to go see it. So I may be taking a trip this weekend. 
Okay, so next is going to be this like pretty teal blue color. And this is my groceries for the month. So she has these matching expense tracking stickers. So we spent, I spent $120 at Costco. The boyfriend spent way more because that is where he gets his meat. Um, I don't help him pay for that because I don't consume it. So my, my grocery bills and my Costco bills are always much cheaper. Okay, so $120 and then I also spent $62.51 at Trader Joe's. So, so far this month, I have spent $182.51. I budget $350. And I spent $182.51. So I have $167. 49 remaining it's so hard to write on this coil um divided by three so that's about 56 dollars a week which is that's totally fine i can totally I, that's usually what i spend i usually spend about 50 45 50 55 dollars a week on groceries um so yeah i am again i'm plant-based sorry if i just keep repeating myself um, but yeah, so it's pretty affordable to eat with my lifestyle. Um, this day I went to Pete's, oh, I was out running errands and I think I had a chiropractor appointment and another appointment and I had not eaten. I just like got up. I think I worked out and usually I'm like really good about like eating after, but because of my chiropractor appointment, I skipped my food. So I just picked up a plant-based um, they have like a sausage bagel sandwich with a just egg, which is a vegan egg. And so they have one at Pete's coffee and this is just that sandwich. I didn't even get a coffee. So $7.92 for eating out. And I budgeted a hundred this month. So I spent $7.92. That leaves ninety two oh eight. Personal, I have not spent anything. Um, do I need anything? I think I'm good. I kn I know actually I do need toothpaste and deodorant, so I probably will be having something come through from Target in the next couple of days. I may put those in my Thrive Market order though, because I do need to do one of those. We'll see. I gotta figure all that out. Um, we are getting our budget our lives everything back on track after having a vacation my birthday all that good stuff so that's happening this week okay so personal i budgeted 50 so i still have a remaining 50 for the rest of the week or rest of the month so overall doing pretty good um i just gotta be you know watch my spending for groceries same with parking so let's see 115 divided by three weeks that's 30 roughly 40 dollars a week i have to spend on parking which isn't a lot um this next week there is baseball so or there's no baseball so the parking won't be insane it won't be super expensive um so that's a plus yeah so i think i'll be okay um because and then i'm off this weekend like saturday and sunday and then this next this week all this week there's baseball so that will be one i need to be a little bit more intentional with like my time maybe try to take the ferry depending on the shift i work um so we'll see but now that i see like how much i've already spent it kind of puts things into perspective for myself um, okay, so now I'm going to go over to sinking funds. I am going to pull some money from my envelopes because I need to pay myself back. Same with my gas. So I'm going to zoom out and then I'll talk you through what's going on with sinking funds. Okay, so look at this cute little washi. I just love her stickers. Okay, so I had some, I'm going to do my sinking funds first and then I'll go back to my expenses. Um, so clothes, I did purchase some things some new workout clothes so 
Yeah. So I spent 106, which is, I probably just put 106 because I didn't. How much did I spend? It was like 105 and change. And I always round up. So like with my stickers, I think I spent 32.15. And then this was like 40. I don't know, 27. So I round up or round down. Um, but I'm surprised I have 106. That's hilarious. I wonder if I was like, oh, I have this much to spend. Like, don't go over. <laughs> okay, so there's 106. 20, 40, 60, 80, yeah. 90, 106. Um, so yeah, I bought some new like workout stuff because I, I just can't help myself. And I did, I was thinking of like just pulling that cash, the clothes money from there to pay for my trip clothes. But then I was like, you know what? I have some extra money in travel. I'm just going to use that. Um, for stickers. So I spent 32, like I said, I round up or down and I spent 32, on Planner Kate's website, and that was 32. Okay, I don't have 32. How do I? I'm a dollar short. I think I'm just gonna pull a dollar from my tips from this week that I have sitting here and just call it even. Maybe I'll just put 31. Because, you know, I'm crazy. I want, like, things to be, like, exact. Because I have $40 for the other one. So then that'll put me at zero. Because if my numbers are all thrown off at the end of the month, like it was last month, it was just such a headache. Um, okay. So there's that. And then I'm pulling 40 for Sarah Marie stickers. So I'm stocked up on stickers through August. So I'll be good for the next couple months. I do have to purchase my budget planner or my planner stickers for July and August, but I use my YouTube uh, money for that because it's not a lot. So I just use that for like these expenses. Um, okay. So I changed that instead of just because I use my bank account. So I have a buffer. I'm not a zero based budgeter at all. Um, it's just kind of impossible with having inconsistent tips, like weekly tips, but also like inconsistent paychecks. Like my paychecks are not the same ever. Um, so I can't, it's hard to zero base budget, but we try our best around here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pull gas and then I already pulled 120 from my envelope because I had had like to, I still had had money in the, my grocery envelope from last month that I didn't spend. So I just rolled it over because I knew I needed to go to Costco. Um, but I did pull this and put that. I gave that to the boyfriend. And then gas, I need to pull 51, 20, 40, 50, 1. So like same thing with this. 5102 like I use my bank account my bank account I just round down I don't care about the change so I'm not crazy unless it's like this like parking if I pull money for my parking which I don't that just goes out comes out of my bank account I would round up to 11 um so yeah okay cool so 51 we pull for gas and then for groceries, I didn't pull this, but I don't have $62. I've got 40. So we're gonna pull this. And we're just gonna put this back into the bank because I use my debit card for this. And so with um, my variable bills, binder, like envelopes, especially these eating out groceries and gas, they're more of just like an allowance for me to spend each week. But as long as I'm staying within this budget within the month, I'm fine. Um, but I do just like to put some like spending money into my envelopes for me. Um, Cause I always just use my debit card and then I just pay myself back with this cash. 
So I don't know if that made any sense to you guys. I hope it did, but that's what makes sense for me. But when it comes to my uh, sinking funds, like I want them to be all like balanced out. So that's why I changed that to one. So my numbers wouldn't be off when I go to close out my sinking funds at the end of the month. All right, guys. Well, we are, thanks for being patient with me. And as I get back on track with my budget, uh, it's kind of been a mess this last month. So I appreciate all the patience and for you hanging out with me and spending your time with me today. If you liked the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you aren't subscribed, definitely consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the family here. And I'll see you guys in my cash shopping video in a couple of days.